guys and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here hi my name is Lavinia welcome and welcome back if you have already been with me for a while thank you so much for tuning into today's video I have an exciting one for you guys today we are doing a full face of MAC cosmetics I have a bunch of products from literally primer to lips we're doing a full face of MAC and the reason for this is because I actually got some packages in the mail recently that basically had a bunch of MAC products so I'm like let's try them out one of the packages walked us through the full complexion of how to get that like perfect base so we're going to be trying that out and then we also have their new um, eyeshadow palettes to try out in this video as well as some of their new complexion products so I really just wanted to try them all out all in one video and do a full face of MAC Cosmetics on my acne prone and textured skin and see what does this actually look like? So I'm excited. Um, before we jump into this, I want to remind you all that I do have a podcast called Loud Talk with Lavi that is on Spotify, Apple, and YouTube as well for the visual version. We go live every single Sunday morning with a bunch of different topics that really are surrounded by breaking down the walls of beauty standards one flaw at a time. So if that is something you're interested in, I would highly recommend you go check it out and I would really, really appreciate your support. So now, without further ado, let's get into this full face of MAC Cosmetics on my acne prone and textured skin. Let's go. Oh, you tell me stories. You tuck me in. And the second you leave, I call you right back to check for monsters in my streets. Oh my gosh. Let's get into this routine. Look at this. So first off, we're going to start with the complexion. We have steps one through five here to get that perfect complexion. So I'm gonna basically use this routine and we'll see how it makes my skin look. Can this full routine from MAC Cosmetics look good on my textured and acne prone skin? Let's put it to the test. All right, so step one is the Hyper Real Serumizer. This is what this product looks like right here. I've actually used this quite a bit and I absolutely adore it. Just gonna squeeze some out and apply it all over the face. I love that this is kind of like a serum and skin primer all in one and it gives such a glowy look to the skin. I forgot to do my brows. Quickly brush those up with some brow gel. Okay, next up we do have an actual primer. This is the MAC Studio Fix Mattifying 12 Hour Shine Control Primer. I've actually never tried this one, so I'm a little curious. Okay, I don't know how much I should use. I'll just blend this right into the skin. I'm more in the T-zone to mattify. I feel like that definitely mattified the skin a little bit. I'm just gonna zoom you guys in slightly so you can see better there. All right, on to step three of the routine. We are using the MAC Studio Fix Everywhere All Over Face Pen. I actually really enjoy this product. I've used it before, but I think I have some different shades here. What shades was I using in the past? I was using shade NW15 in the past, and I have NW15. 30, 20, and 25 now. The skin is feeling like a little dry. I don't typically use a mattifying primer, so I'm gonna go in with my MAC strobe cream. This is in the shade Pink Light. I really like this. Hopefully what I needed there. So I think I'm gonna go in with shade NC NW20 since it's gonna be a little darker than the one I had previously, and I think it'll be my perfect match. I love the packaging of this. It's so cool. Like look at it. It's a little pen, you take this out. And then we unlock it. And then it just clicks out. Ooh, okay. Ooh. I think I'm gonna use a little sponge to blend this out. And the cool thing about this product is it's literally like a foundation and concealer all in one. So the coverage is pretty good. It lays on the skin really nicely. I really like the look of it. Is this a little light? Should we combine another shade in? Let me add NW30 into here. Mixing NW30 and NW20. And look at this coverage this gives me. It's like a concealer and foundation all in one. It does lay pretty good on the skin. It definitely is more like full coverage than let's say like MAC Studio Fix Fluid. Like this one is a lot more lightweight coverage, I would say in my opinion. So this one is definitely a little more full. Oh, I didn't even notice we have a new brush to try. I'm gonna take NW15. This is the shade I had before. And I'm going to use the shade as a little bit of a brightener type concealer product under the eyes and just to highlight the face a little. I like the shape of this brush. I don't think I have ever seen something of this shape. Because typically, you know, if you have like an angled brush like this, it's still round. But this one is definitely, you know, that like 
rectangular shape, which makes it pretty easy to get around the face with. Okay, when I've used these products before, this little concealer pen, I have used a glowier base, and I feel like because we went in with that mattifying product before, the skin is feeling a little tight and I'm having some trouble distributing the product. So I'm gonna grab some MAC Fix Plus and just douse the face in that. And then I'm gonna take my sponge and blend because this will kind of, you know, re-dampen that product and I can actually blend it more into the skin because it was, you know, getting a little difficult to blend if I'm gonna be honest with you guys. These pimples I'm having right now, my skin is like purging from this laser treatment I got and they are hurting. But the skin looks pretty good. I love how this product actually looks on my skin. And I like how you can build up the coverage. You could definitely, you know, make this a lot more full coverage or leave it kind of as is as I did. But I do like these little stick products. They're such a nice um, item and I have been traveling with these. I do hope that MAC extends their shade range in these because I don't think they have enough shades and I know what they can do with like their other foundations in those shade ranges. So I really hope that they treat this shade range less like a concealer and more like an overall complexion product because for me, I use this as a concealer, as an all over product. It's just a great little tool to mix in. I actually would love to try it in a much deeper shade than my complexion in like a cooler shade and use it as like a contour slash bronzer. I think that would be really fun. Okay, next up in the box, this is step four, and this is their even step. So this is their Studio Fix Fluid, just like the one I had right here. So I have tried this product before, but I've never had it with a pump. I'm obsessed. I love pumps. This is such a pain to dump the product out of because it's just like an empty cap, and I always have to dump it out, so the pump will be very nice. Um, this is a little too deep for me, and this is a little bit on the light side, so let's do a little mixing. And they're suggesting that we use this kind of as an all-over even layer at the end of the routine. So I'm gonna dump out some of shade NW10, and then we gotta take NW15. I'm so excited about this pump. Like, I love how that's what I'm most excited about this right now. Do a little mix in here. And then I think I'm gonna take my sponge slightly into this, kind of douse the sponge, and then tap a little bit of the excess sauce so that we have an even amount. And then I'm gonna apply this right over the rest of the makeup to get that evening all over the face. Honestly, with how much product we have on the skin right now, it is looking very good and the makeup is sitting pretty well on the skin. Obviously with how I do my makeup, I still like to let some of my natural skin kind of show you know, you guys know I love that. Like, I love showing a little bit of my scarring. It just makes me feel better about my skin. So this is typically how I like to do my makeup, but I'm very surprised with the coverage we got. I don't mind actually mixing these two formulas um, together. I think they created a nice little concoction, so I'm definitely not opposed to trying that again in the future. I'm happy that the skin is looking less dry, though I think a little spritz of some Fix Plus pick me up for sure. Time to set the face. We have the MAC Studio Fix Pro Set and Blur Weightless Loose Powders. Now I actually have tried this before, but I haven't tried their translucent version yet. I have the shade light and then they also, oh, and then they sent over a second shade light. So I already have this, so I'm gonna go ahead and give this away. By the way, I'm hosting a giveaway right now on my Instagram. It's almost closed, so go check that out. And then I have the shade Translucent. Now, I actually started testing this out before it released, so I'm very excited to try the Translucent one because I haven't yet. But this is such an interesting product because it's so finely milled. It comes with a little puff. I have to show you guys this. Um, and look at it. It has like this netting and for it being like a powder it is so finely milled so on this side i'm gonna go in with the shade light i'm just gonna set with this right in the center of the face do we see how that just blurred that out like am i crazy or like did it actually do that I'm gonna set kind of in the t-zone now as i said my skin is dry so i don't like to powder too much on the skin but, you know, a little powder is nice in the T-zone because I do tend to get a little oily throughout the day. Okay, time to try the translucent one out. These puffs are actually such nice quality for like being in a product. Usually like you get puffs in a product and they're not that great, but this one is actually very nice. Which makes sense, like you're paying like a little bit more of an elevated price for this product, so it makes sense. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, let's dip into this. It's pretty white, so I'm curious to see like, will this look white on the skin? I am pretty fair, so I feel like I'm not the 
best judgment but if a powder looks white or ashy on me that's what i'm like that's not translucent oh my gosh are we seeing this on my skin right now it doesn't look like this in the in my mirror but on camera i'm looking at myself in the viewfinder and i'm like that is white that is white like i feel like i look a little ghostly on this side and then this side's like oh that's my shade okay we gotta do some like mixing so i'm gonna add some of the light over here do we see how it's like ah okay i don't like that i don't like it i'm definitely one for the colored powder but not that translucent one that did not work for me i don't think it's translucent enough okay this is not fun but let's set it down wet it up a bit i'm just gonna let that kind of sit on the skin for a minute soak in and then we're gonna finish up the complexion after we do the eyes okay moving on to the eyes i do have another package from mac and this is their full box of their new palettes oh my gosh one fell oh no they just fell into here and then we have some brushes also so let's play around with these since i already have them let's see what we can create on the eyes all right so we have four new palettes to play around with let's go through them so we have the bronze influence palette oh that is beautiful look at those shades love that we have the encrypted kryptonite and these are all sorry these are all the connect in color eyeshadow palettes so there's four of them and i love that connect in color that's so cute so this is a bit of more of a cool toned like berry um, shades. This is definitely not my color palette. Uh, my mom would love this though, so I'll definitely give this to her. And then we have rose lenses. Also, these packagings, like the little cases, are so cute. Oh, but this color scheme is definitely right up my alley. These beautiful pinks. I love that. And then the last one we have is embedded in burgundy. Oh, this one is also pretty. I love these shades. Now I've got to decide what I want to play with today. Okay, so I think I kind of want to play around with bronze influence and rose lenses because these colors are really speaking to me. Okay, so I'm going to start over here in bronze influence. And I'm starting with the MAC 224S brush. And we're just going to start right in the crease. I'm just go back and forth. This brush isn't my favorite. I'll say that. It's a little scratchy on my eye, actually. It's definitely blending the shadow out, but I do prefer like a softer brush sometimes. The shape is really nice, though. But the material, the bristles, are not my favorite. So I'm really building that shade up in the crease there. Let's dip into rose lenses and I'm going to dip into this beautiful pink shade. Let me grab another brush. I'm going to use a 217S. Get this pink and I'm going to start placing this right on the outer corner. So pretty. There is something about brown and pink together. I feel like ice cream strawberry chocolate like i love this i love the contrast and i love a good pop of color it's so funny growing up i hated pink and now i love it like i love 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 it look at that so cute they really hooked me up with all the great brushes so we have with all the right brush shapes so we have the 219s i'm going to grab that same taupe shade that we were using previously I'm going to start dusting this on the lower lash line. I love this type of tapered little brush where you can just really smudge color right under the eye. It's so great. I don't want to put pink down there though because I find when I put pink under my eyes it can make me look really tired. So I'm going to keep the pink just on the top. I think we need to cut the crease a little. I think it's just what we got to do. So I'm going to grab some of NW20 that we are using on the face of this little concealer pen and just cut the crease just like a half cut crease and then use my finger to blend it out right in the center there i want to use gold i want to use the gold shade because look at this beauty right there so let's dip into it it's like a really bronzy shade i'm gonna press this onto the lid oh yeah and then i'm gonna take this light pink Ooh, that's so pretty as well and then to blend the two, I'm going to take this gold and press it right in between them to kind of create like a gradient between the gold and the pink. 
Yeah, I'm liking that. I'm liking that very much. I'm gonna dip into Embedded in Burgundy because I need this dark brown right here because the dark shade in the bronze palette is pulling a little green. It's like black, but it's pulling a little green. So I'm gonna dip into the brown in the Burgundy palette. And I'm gonna use this to create a really nice thin but kind of smoked out liner with the eyeshadow. And holy moly, I've never used this brush. But that is precision. What brush is this? 263. Two, 263. You guys need this if you like doing this with eyeshadow. I've never had a brush like just place that color on so precisely and pigmented. I like it. And then I'm gonna take it into the inner corner too and just slightly wing my inner corner out as well. Like that, it just gives the sh eyes such a good shape. This brush is definitely making my life so easy right now. These palettes are so cute. And then I'm actually just gonna use the MAC Stack Mascara since we're doing a full face in MAC. This mascara is actually really nice. It gives lots of volume. I don't use it every day, but it is a nice one. It definitely, you know, adds a lot of oomph to your lashes, which is what we want. See, there's a lot of volume there. And you see how it just built on the outer corner here? Add some to the lower lash line. And then just nice and simple. I love like doing a simple daytime eye look like this. But then with that pop of like color and a little shimmer, it elevates the look so much more. Like if I were just to do an all brown look, you know, it'd be like any other makeup look. But since I added a bit of that pink in there, it just adds a little flavor to it and I love it. Okay, time to finish off the rest of the face because it's looking definitely very bland and flat. I'm gonna go in with Charlotte Tilbury for contour because I actually don't own a matte contour. I definitely need to get that concealer pen in a darker shade. That's definitely what I need. But for now, we will use Miss Charlotte because I love this stuff. And then I actually want to use this little brush because I feel like this will just blend in contour so nicely this is a really great shape you see how it just like fits into my forehead there i'm definitely gonna be getting a lot of use out of this brush i really like it and i feel like this is the type of brush that i could like take on vacation and do like my whole face of makeup with the skin is definitely feeling a little tight again okay we need some more mac fix plus just to add some of that hydration back to the skin Oh, oh, and I do have a little MAC fan with this. Ooh, I'm just gonna dry this down a little bit because it's like really damp right now. And then I'm gonna add a little bit more contour to define. Not too much. Oh, I almost forgot about this under my chin. I always do that. I don't know why. Ooh, did that oxidize on me a little bit? Like if you guys rewind the video, does the skin look a little oxidized or was it always this color? Because I feel like my face isn't matching my neck completely anymore. We're gonna have to do some bronzing. Just gonna grab a Jones Road bronzer. This is in the shade Light Tan. Just to get this a little more matchy matchy. Take this brush and blend it into the outskirts of my face. I think blush will help. I wanna stick to the full face of back so i have two options here i have this blush called into the pink extra dimension blush it's very glittery though like look at this it's like so glittery but it's very pretty so i might just swirl this on and if i swirl it and tap off some of the excess maybe some of the glitter will fall away nope still very glittery but can you give me that highlight and blush all in one Hello texture with this blush. Look at that. Look at that. Oh we. Okay, we have to finish off with the lips. And I do actually have another MAC package. This is their locked lip product. Uh, locked Kiss Ink 24 hour lip color. And look at this. It even came with a little mirror. How cute. We have so many shades of these. Like, look, so, so many shades. Let's use one of these today, might as well. Dig in this color. I think it matches the vibe. This is the shade Oh Delicious. And we're gonna go no lip liner. We're just gonna test this out on my bare lips. 
I haven't used like a liquid lipstick product in so long. That is spreading nicely on the lips though. And I will admit the applicator is pretty precise. It's not very wide. The angle is kind of weird for like the lower part of your lip, but it does make it easy for like the outskirts. I feel like this color is very light and it's so dry. I'm given like 2016 makeup, am I? Am I? Is that even more? Am I not? That's what I was trying to say. Am I not? Because the skin is like full coverage, you know, super highlighted cheek, but the rest of it's pretty flat. And then the lips is just that dryness. I don't love this blush. It's the texture. It's popping, which is fine. It happens, but okay. I'm going to add a little bit of the shade Tosh just to deepen up. I'm going to use this kind of like a liner. The applicator definitely allows you to do that because it definitely is thin enough. I don't know if I can do this matte lip, guys. Like, I haven't worn, like, a liquid lipstick like this in so long. My lips feel like they're falling off. So, you know what? We're adding a gloss. I'm going to try out this Bare Minerals um, gloss in the shade Warmth. I've used this gloss before, but not this color. And it looks really pretty. So, I'm just going to add this on top. Oh. Mm. I needed, I needed that moisture. It's already so much better just, like, adding a little bit of a gloss. Just fixed it all for me. Okay, one final set. I'm gonna do my little setting combo. So I'm gonna go MAC Fix Plus. And then the Fix Plus Stay Over. Because the MAC Fix Plus will kind of melt the makeup in. And then the uh, Stay Over will lock the makeup in. You need both. You just need both. And then let's just fan this all out. All right, guys, and here is the finished look. What do we think? It's definitely very full coverage. I feel like it's very 2016 makeup. There's definitely some products I love here, like this setting powder is really good. Not in the translucent, didn't work out for me, but you know, in the regular. I love both of these coverage products for sure. Um, the Hyper Real Serumizer is one of my favorites, and I also love the strobe cream. But this primer just wasn't it for me. A little too drying. Their setting sprays I love. And those eyeshadow palettes were definitely super fun to play with. So we definitely found some goodies. These liquid lipsticks, I don't know. They're definitely very long wearing from what I've seen online. But I don't know if I can do liquid lipsticks anymore. Um, but if you guys ask me for it, I will do a swatch video on all those shades. We'll bring back my lip swatch series that I used to do here all the time. And I'll murder my lips with those shades of taking them on and off. But I'll do it for you guys. So... Just let me know in the comments if you want to see that. Anyways, thank you so, so much for watching this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more content from me, you definitely have to go check out my Instagram and TikTok at LavinyaRasan. I post daily content on there. And did you know I have a podcast? I have a podcast called Loud Talk with Lavi, so definitely go check that out. We post new episodes on Spotify, um, Apple Podcasts, the YouTube channel as well for the visual version every single Sunday morning. I have lots of individual episodes, but also lots of amazing guests on there. So definitely go check out the pod. And that is it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I love you all so, so, so much. And don't forget to tell yourself something you love about your skin today. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Oh, you tell me stories You tuck me in And the second you leave I call you right back To check for monsters